Okay, okay, Helen, you got two minutes on the clock. Ready? Go! If you weren't wrestling, what would you be doing right now? Dancing. So he's down. Down for the brown. Bounce. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. No, the okay. brown couch. Oh, okay. I can't do it. Old brown. Uh, you, you, you know what I'm talking about? Like he's being off balance. Dude, yeah. that hurts, man. That, yeah. Like, you so, know what I'm saying? It's like, try, yeah. uh -huh. dude, dude, and it's yeah. done like, yeah. it's annoying. Oh. Weirdest DM you've ever received? Oh, can I lick those feet? <laughs> <laughs> what was your most sweet? No, style? is the answer, by the way. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Henry Cejudo here, aka Triple C, and welcome to this episode of Scout Flicks and Chill. And today, guys, we have the Olympic champ and three time world champ, Helen Marulis. And on top of that, we have Victoria Anthony. That's right, I'm talking about the Vortex, the future rising star, and the two time junior world team member, and the two time junior world champ. So there you have it, guys. Now, let's take it to the flicks. And this is a personal question. You, you, you guys ever, oh, you guys ever dated wrestlers like outside the, uh, the US? Yes. <laughs> no. Yeah? No? That was my, before I Although I only like wrestlers outside the US. Yeah. <laughs> if I was gonna date one. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about Helen and Sinekov as a matchup? <laughs> Potential matchup. Dude, Sinekov's a stallion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sinekov's a stallion. All right, guys. So welcome to the show, guys. I appreciate it, man. You guys are, you know, my second, my second mm -hmm. guest. You're next to Kelvin Castellan, but it is an honor. Like I said before, guys, we have Helen Marulis, Olympic champ, three-time world champ, and obviously Victoria Vortex, future rising star in mm -hmm. MMA. Guys, welcome, welcome to the show. Thanks, Henry. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Chip, chip wants recognition. Yeah. Oh, we get chip in here. That's cool. <laughs> this, 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 you know why this dog's a little special to me? Because of because that was the first dog that my daughter ever kind of like touched or saw. Oh Aww. yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. So chip means a lot to me. Aww. You know. Well, obviously we have the Olympics coming up in 20. Uh, 20. I'm thinking. I'm still thinking of 2021. We have the Olympics coming up in 2024. I mean, Helen, this is a time where everything kind of gets serious. And in Victoria, you know, we've been in these crazy competitions. Mm -hmm. The Olympic year is is the most exciting and also the most uh, <laughs> bad breaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That an athlete could go through because it's not just making, it's not just winning the Olympics, but actually making the team. Mm -hmm. You know. So for you uh, getting ready for the for getting ready for this next for this quad that's you know it's about to end, like how how has your preparation changed? Oh man, <clears throat> preparation's been good. I don't know that it's changed. I feel like you just take it day by day, and then there's always some challenge or something coming up, and then that just takes your present focus. Um, I feel really dialed in. I feel really good. It feels a lot better than how Tokyo was. Tokyo was just literally trying to get healed mentally, emotionally, and physically enough yeah. to even believe, can I even step on the mat again? And this time around, it's like, no, this is probably my last one and I'm gonna give it everything and I'm, I know I'm in the place to do that. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it, man. And then when you do eventually say goodbye to wrestling, oh, don't. <laughs> it is, uh, it is, uh, man, it is It is the most, it's the, it's, I just, there's no words to it. Like, I'm not a crier. And I can literally just tell you that I cry, man. It was beautiful with emotions, like goodbye. You know, it's like, we'll, we'll always be fans, you know? Mm -hmm. But we won't, it's just, it's it's different. You're, you're you're now just a fan. Yeah, did you feel like you were done after your first Olympics and then when you came back or, so you had two endings, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or you knew you were gonna keep going for a bit? No, but by the, by the no, I didn't wanna do it no more, yeah. you know? I think I was just, I gave everything I knew from like all the breaks that I've had, like mm -hmm. the heartbreak at the world championships, like training one and out. You know? <laughs> Wrestling is so hard. Like, it's oh, like, oh, like, like screw you, dude. I'm yeah. not doing that. <laughs> like it's almost like you deliver so much to it mm -hmm. that it also hurts you, you know, in some ways. And it does, like whether you want to say, oh, I love it. Hell no, you don't know yeah. what I love it. Mm -hmm. It's not true. Yeah. It's not true. You know, unless, unless I'm just a psycho. No, it's crazy too that you can have like one good moment or like some highlight of your career 
and then you keep going and something like crazy and traumatic can happen and, you're, and then that like could also shape a lot of your view of the sport. Yeah. I don't know, did you have like, when you retired it was... Yeah, I mean, I just kind of like faded out. <laughs> I was like, I'll take one match and then sit. I'm so grateful for MMA because it allowed me something to focus on immediately. I didn't even know, mm. if, I was like, okay, I'm gonna commit one year to MMA. I don't know if I'm gonna like this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna, I've never been in a fight in my life, so I don't know if I'm gonna <laughs> like this shit. But uh, it gave me something to phase out through. And I honestly would really recommend that to like other wrestlers. I have another friend that's getting ready to retire. I'm like, just start MMA and then you don't have to compete, but give yourself something else to focus mm -hmm. on. Right, no, exactly. This is this is why people, this is why the majority of the people that go back to fighting go or go back to wrestling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's these decisions. Like it's almost like that's all I know. Like I don't know the other the other traits, but you have to know when it's time and start setting your mind up too. Yeah. Because yeah. it because it, it, it's also a motivator as well. Yeah. You know, knowing like, hey man, I got this amount of time. So what about you, Vicky? I know you've been. Uh, you know, I would say, you know, you you have about five amateur fights right now, looking to go pro. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what do you what do you what do you think of the fight game, man? Where is it that you actually want to take it, man? Where, what, what's the path? Yeah, I love it. I love it. And world champ is obviously, you know, that's what I'm aiming for. And I, I can't wait to just keep moving forward on that path. I got a roadblock with my ACL. Tore my ACL. Had surgery 12 weeks ago now. So I'm just taking this time to like study, study the games. So that's all I can, can do. I can't, no technique for another three months. And then we are able to move forward with the, the intended path. So yeah. yeah, but I love it. I, I wasn't expecting to like it so much, yeah. but yeah. wrestling, it's like, you know, especially towards the end of your career, it's just these tiny differences or sometimes you feel like you're sliding backwards. But MMA, there's so much, so many different areas to improve upon that it's like, I can never get bored. I know it. It's good. Anyhow, girls, I want to watch, uh, obviously, the, the most, I, don't, I, I, I cannot call it controversial, but the most anticipated match mm. of, of wrestling, Sitikov versus Kyle Dick. So I want to sit here, watch, it, watch this match, man, and just, you know, let, let's critique it. Let's do it. Let's see what you guys think. Ooh, so okay. we have him, man. Kyle Dick, dude, I was, oh. Two great wrestlers, honestly. You, can I tell you how much respect I have for Sitikov? <laughs> Like, yeah. you beat Jordan Burroughs and you beat Dave. Yeah. They really, they didn't compete internationally for like, what was it, a whole year? Because of the sanctions? Yeah. So, so this is like his first, yeah. This is his first tournament. Yeah, no, but notice, notice, uh, notice Sitikov too. He, he comes in with the pressure and he, those little yanks. Too. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 you don't think it's doing anything, but it's getting this dude off balance because he, he's not doing anything. I feel like Sitikov is really good at dictating a pace. Like he's just, he's just always going. Yeah, he's on you, he's always touching you. And you've seen him win, like, beat these high level guys in the last couple seconds, he just always has it in him. Yeah, and he squared stance too. Look at his stance, like it's not, yeah. it's not staggered. Kyle too, he yeah. crosses his feet. Yeah. Kyle's stance is interesting. Yeah, yeah, Kyle showed me his stance work before and that was really intricate and sophisticated. Yeah, that's, dude, the stance is the most important piece because er everything comes off of that. There is nothing like winning and uh, and being all beat up. <laughs> <laughs> like you're into it or you're not that into no, it? No, I am into it. It's like, oh, it's cool. Everything's <laughs> burning in the shower. Yeah. Or it could be the other way, like leave unscathed. Yeah, like, oh, good, that's good. the best, that's the best feeling. That would be the better route to go in my it's, opinion. It's probably more like to fight. Like, all right, man, I earned my money. Maybe that's, <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just different in fighting. Yeah. Hair burns. Sit has a little afro going too. Yeah. I'll scrape up your face. <laughs> What do you think out of the What do you think out of the five senses, uh, Victoria? That uh, Kyle Dake is. Ooh. There's attack, counter attack, yeah. anticipate, feel, and take risk. Counter attack and anticipate. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, yeah. Now, Sitikov within a minute forty five. Now he's in. Now he's in the lead. But he's just not letting up. Nice. That was beautiful. Beautiful shot. Let's go, Kyle. That's your too. Oh, really? No, no, no. <laughs> but, look, but look, but look, he got he got around and around it with like it wasn't yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like he was you gotta wrestle this dude till you get your two. Dude, so look, Kyle was up first and it was Sitikov, now it's Kyle Dake once again. About a minute down. Let's go, Kyle. <sighs> I don't know guys, but I got one the rush is gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> He gets so deep that on that shot, shot huh? So the both times he shot yeah, it. But I don't think Sitikov ever exposed. I don't think he did. Right? I think that was, that was right. Now, how would you? Now, how would you? No, dude, I, that's I, only I, two. I, think, I don't know. I think that's all Sitikov. They, yeah, that's what they yeah. give. I think it all Sitikov. Yeah. But I, 
Oh, no, oh, they, they did. Oh. For that first exposure. You guys will take, you guys will, you guys wouldn't give two two Sinikov? I don't know. If Am I tripping? I have to see that again. Yeah, I need to see it again. Yeah, it's hard, man. So he's down. Down for the brown. Let's see. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, he looks like he floats I it. Looks like he floats it. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Bounce? I'm sorry, guys. No, the okay. brown couch. Oh, brown. Couch. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Old brown. Uh, I, yeah. Oh, that is so that's, close, but I don't think it, well, it Does looks, that break? It looks like his right shoulder does, but not his left. Because what? It just has a big 90, right? And his legs are right up. I don't. Is that, is it? But he's still holding on to the legs, actually. I thought that was if you still have the leg, if you never let go of the leg. They don't give you two. So what do you have? Well, so I what do you, think what do you it have would stay off. Of, I think so it would stay far, I thought there was only two exposure for Sitikov. I don't. Where was the second two? Kyle was on his when back the whole time. When he hopped over. He hopped like over. He, he, yeah, did he, he reset? Yeah, he boom, and then he ended up, and then he ended up hopping over. I wonder if it depends on if they've given Dick points at that point. Unless the slow mo, unless he gets it. Because like, are they giving him two right now? Sitikov two right now? They can't be giving both. Yeah, I wonder if they give it Kyle for rolling through, but then because Sitikov held, uh, held him on his back or something. No, that definitely this is, is his the, move. This is two, right? Yeah, that's his move. And they reviewed that. He lost a channel. I guess they. I guess the dude. I guess they don't. I swear, wrestling's so crazy. Yeah. It can change oh, so dude, fast. I could. I could. I could, I could see two for Dake. That was like what six yeah. points they just put on the board. Yeah. And now it's like you know, a totally saying, different. But they're, they're giving two for Dake while Dake's pulling him through. Where that's Sitikov's first two as well. How yeah. is that? That's what I. You know imagine. what I'm saying? It's it's, the, it's whoever brings the momentum. Yeah. It's whoever kind of carries the momentum it. is. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right here, this looks definitely like Sitikov. Two Sitikov, yeah. for sure. Oh, and is that the two when he kicks him over? When Kyle kicks him over? Oh. Is that what they were looking for? This is confusing. I know. <laughs> it's so crazy. What a crazy sport. You know when you're out there wrestling and you get in those scrambles and you're like, you don't even know what it is? Yeah, no idea. Just pray. Yeah, literally like, it pray. It felt God. like it was me. It felt like it was my boys. Please, God. Please, <laughs> God. Please, God. Please. <laughs> Just staring at the mat. <laughs> I don't even want to look at the screen. I will anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call my parents. <laughs> I'll eat my vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll pay my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> no, not anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy too when you review something and the score Ooh. is like a totally different match. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is good for Kyle. It's actually the it's same as it was before, wasn't it? Three, two. Well, Kyle was winning, but yeah, but yeah, basically but yeah, like it's that. like one takedown. I wasn't expecting it to turn off as close. Yeah, eight, ah, whoa, eight, seven, okay. Oh, 23 seconds left. That's Eight, seven. So Kyle's so good here. So he can score. He can always score. Uh, Three seconds. Uh, yeah, but was that, that was <laughs> yeah, it, for Dake. Yeah. No. No point. Yeah. I, I. I don't think he exposed. I don't think he broke. I don't no, think no, he broke so. ninety. If anything, yeah. it looks like it from this angle. But when you see the other angle, it'd be like. Yeah. Imagine how many people have been robbed. Because mm. only have one angle, like no, this yeah. is good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Imagine before there was a video review. Yeah, now they're just. Uh, oh, they, just they won the challenge. Who, who, who won the challenge? Why? Did, How did they, see what uh, I'm saying? Why? They mess it up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> <It's so crazy. laughs> we're like we're here to critique this at the end we're like we're, here to we're being critiqued <laughs> we're not critiquing <laughs> dude that's crazy that's crazy that was confusing it's about creating opportunities and matches huh like oh it's wrestling so hard yeah well i'm well i'm excited man 2024 couldn't couldn't uh couldn't get any closer but uh you know i want to take i want to take you guys to my wrestling room and like let's let's, let's break some of the stuff down that you guys saw all right guys so you know i'm here to break down my side of why i think or maybe the adjustments that maybe a guy like kyle Dake could do the next time around with sitikov i think the biggest thing is he cannot let sitikov continue to control the tie i mean they're, they're like these little tie they're like these little subtle things but you know what it does it gets you off balance and i think the biggest thing if i'm kyle Dake, i will make sure that as soon as he you know either you start the hand fighting or you're gonna have to look into knowing that he's gonna end up doing things like that but you gotta get you gotta get sitikov's hands off you helen 
What you got on that? What, 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 do you, what, what adjustments do you think uh, a guy like Kyle Day can go, can maybe potentially do leading up to this next time around for the 24, 2024 Olympics? Obviously, you're looking at like two of the best guys in the world at that weight. Um, I really think that Kyle maybe needs to think about, yeah, exactly what you said, just how to get those ties off. I think a lot of times it's easy to go wrist and just start even securing one arm, just picking something and building up instead of trying to always match it. Because Sidovkov is going here, 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 here. So it's like if you can really close in and just grab like one wrist and climb up. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm Sidovkov. Okay. He, he's like, he's like here. It's almost like his legs are back, but yeah. he's like here. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he yeah. Like he, leads, he leads with his upper yeah. body. You look at a control wrist. Yeah, I would go wrist. I feel like when people are all over the place, wrists I feel comfortable with. When you start trying to reach other places, but that's just my preference. Okay, what you got, Vortex? Kyle's so good in deep ties. Like, I think he's he's made a Greco world team or something, but yeah. he using those deep ties, because Sidikov's so long, he's like, yeah. he's Sidikov. Right, right. It's just like getting women's wrestling too. Like, we use a lot of ties. We use a lot of Russian ties. I think just getting closer to his body and not letting him be out here like this, right. where it's hard to monitor him. And he that's obviously his better distance. Yeah. But like deep underhooks, all that stuff, yeah, yeah. deep overhooks. Yeah. yeah. But man, Sidokov's so slick. He's got. Yeah, he's stuff got too. Uh, <laughs> That's a good point. He's got. In, I mean, I, I'm sure. I imagine he probably does have inside trips too, and I'm probably sure he's pretty wooded with all that. Talk about somebody who's very, very well rounded. Yeah, I almost feel like evading the distance because he's so long too. So if you can tie and hand fight from all the way out here, and this is like Kyle's wrestling and now this person's body is this far out, it's like, well then when Sidikov's gonna reach and force you to keep it long, then you just take it back. And maybe you'll have like an inch of space to... You, you, you know what I'm talking about? Like he's being off balance? Dude, that hurts, man. That shit, that's yeah. like, so you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 yeah, uh-huh. It's yeah. done like, yeah. it's annoying. It's annoying, little... but it works. Yeah. All right, girls, so now you know, talk is cheap, guys. Talk is cheap. Let's, you know, do you guys like, uh, what, what, what is it, what is it, Joe? What's the, what's the temperature of the cold plunge? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, 37 degrees. I, just yeah. Yeah. So wait, I don't cold plunge for anything that I would do yeah. it for you. Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. do it for myself. Because you're not just gonna cold plunge, but we're gonna have rapid fire on top of the cold plunges too. Let's go. Yeah, chill. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Overflow. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're good. It's okay. You know, that's all we do. This is why you know I got a little. That's how we do, baby. Don't drink it. All right, cool. Well, well, guys, we just decided that we're about to. You know, I, I had to give the the girls an option. Do you guys mind? You know, watching one of your your wrestling matches, because dude, it's not always. You know, it's sometimes it's hard, and sometimes you know you can say a little bit of what maybe you don't, you don't want out there. So, but anyhow, I think we're here to be transparent. Yeah, and I love this match. Right? And break this it's down. not my match. So, so this match. match right here, this is probably the biggest upset in, well, it is for women's wrestling, and maybe even for the men's too. The other, the other thing that I can really think about that uh, that comes, uh, you know, next to Helen is uh, Rulon Gardner. Okay, Of yeah. beating uh, Alexander Corral. You know, even though, even though it was a boring match, <laughs> I'd say this was the biggest upset of this Olympic Games too in total. Helen, Helen. <laughs> let's go, yeah. Let's, let's hit the play button. Here we go. Chips <laughs> it. Crazy the video quality of 2016, right? <laughs> yeah. And color correct or anything. Yeah. So, so what are you thinking right now? The, the fact that uh, you're like, you know, I'm going up. Can you believe you're wrestling her? Oh, it was a dream. Like I remember thinking. If I don't make it to her, I'll never get to wrestle her again. She's just this legend. So this felt like the cherry on top. Like I, I really wasn't nervous at all. Yeah. Cause she's done after this. It's, yeah. it's crazy, right? It's crazy. I, I felt the same way when right. uh, when I went. Into, I was like more nervous. Like like once I got to the wrestling arena, like it's like the nerves like left me. Yeah. It was a trip. Mm -hmm. You think you're we're about to wrestle for the Olympic Games, a gold medal, and you're calm. So you're right now you're just kind of focusing on the collar time, you're trying to slow her down, you're trying to just fill her out a little bit. Honestly, I knew that a lot of people get nervous wrestling Japanese and they, they make mistakes, so they, they try to put points on the board early. So I was literally just trying to put pressure and like hold position and just kind of let her know like, 
I'm here, I don't have any fear, we're gonna go at this, but I'm not gonna make a mistake or open up, so. For anyone who doesn't know, yeah, she was unbeaten for 13 years as well? Yeah, every Worlds and Olympics she's ever done except for this. You're so cool, Helen. And she's my hero. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Like, honestly. For what reasons? Because she, like, if she didn't exist and create such a legacy and such a gap, it wouldn't have pushed me to, like, to to I out. was just, mm -hmm. I was so enamored with her. Rivalries is what, uh, is what pushes people. As much as I used to hate them. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. And even after I won, I was like, how the hell did she do three of these? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? It's like, crazy. Talk about the discipline, like the discipline, like it's it's a whole, it's it's just another culture out there. What, what's so the new. what's the day? What's the day when you want to go medal? August 18th, 2016. Oh uh, no way! We have something in common. What day was it? August 19th. Oh. But it's still August. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like three days to match up. Yeah. I can I can tell when you started walking out. I can see the laser focus, like you know, especially when the camera like kind of pout. I, you know, uh, kind of was featured on you in the mm -hmm. Jumbotron. Mm -hmm. Like you could tell it was, it was strictly business. Insane, mm -hmm. she went for a headlock. I mean, Oof. strictly off your pressure, I would say, because yeah. when has she ever thrown a headlock? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I remember walking out and it was like, you could feel, I don't know if you felt like electricity in the air. Like it was, yeah. Yeah, like, dun, 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 dun. yeah, it's yeah. Just, so when you think when you say things like that, it's almost like it makes you want to get my kids to compete. Mm -hmm. Because you know, for now, as because there's there's also that flip side of wrestling, mm -hmm. where it's like, man, you can also you can also you know make your kid not mm -hmm. love it. Yeah, that's very true. Burn them out. Yeah, it's such a common story, isn't it? Yeah. So many wrestling they parents. Went, they went Tulsa again and by 13. Like, no! Nah. Uh, <laughs> I'm out! <laughs> He's like, I hate it! <laughs> and I hate you too! <laughs> Honestly, wrestling parents need a class. Like, yeah. some are good. I'm pretty grateful to coach kids. They need bells. You gotta give bells to parents. Yeah. They need yellow or red cards. Like, you gotta pass a test to get into the tournament to watch a kid. Yeah. So that good. Yeah, you guys think so? You, so is this a proposition to UWW? <laughs> I'm out there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's an international thing, but in America, just it's a it's a it's yeah, a thing. They're like, ah, you dumbass! <laughs> Get out! And then they start teaching technique very wrong. Yeah. Like, oh god! You <laughs> shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think I think that's how the whole world pretty much thinks of Americans, quite mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah, I feel like this was honestly just like a super mental psychological battle. Oh, I felt like no right one really now, yeah. ever. You can like feel if someone can, believes they can beat you, and I don't yeah. think anyone really thought they could beat her. Yeah. Like true, like truly. Yeah, you gave that. Uh, oh, I'm getting chills. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing like it. It's too upset. You know how many coaches told me that was bad defense? I know, same. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, that works for me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good, uh, kind of kill the time a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Or a lot of it. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I was happy for him and just like, man, I also put myself in uh, Yoshida shoes too. Right. And I was like, dude, that's going yeah. for the first to ever do it with four Olympic gold medals. And last match. But people don't know that, a lot of people don't know this. I got, I knew this story and then I got sent to an article after, but Yoshida's father had died the year before. Oh. And any time she wrestled, they would hold a picture frame of her father and it was like, you're supposed to win to honor him. So they had his picture frame ready for her to like win to honor him and then she was also named Japan's um, like flag bearer and captain and there's like apparently some curse that if you do that you don't get the gold or something uh, so you can like it, it was basically just talking about the amount of pressure that Yoshida's had on her like year after year and the amount of things she's gone through and yeah. uh yeah just in this belief like your life changed completely like you're officially an Olympic champion Come on, Victoria. Let's come go. on. The first ever hey, team USA. The first ever. <laughs>
first. Yeah, that is awesome. There's nothing like it. Could you describe the feeling? No, indescribable. Yeah. It's literally like such a dream. Could you describe it? I'm like, it's like I'm peeing. It's a what? It's like you're peeing. Oh, it's like I'm peeing. What? It's like I'm peeing. The relief. It's like peeing. No, it's like peeing joy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think mine was like more tears of joy. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Thank you for coming. Okay, this is my language for you. Ooh. Oh. Wait, what's it like for both of you guys when you go when Dude, it's engaged the first time? I. Mm, this, oh, was, I mean, this, is, little this is my fourth time in a cage, <laughs> but this was the first time in front of a crowd and not in a tournament. My first three fights were in Europe in tournament settings, uh -huh. and I didn't have an adrenaline anything. It was just like normal. Uh -huh. And then this, I was like, oh, why am I getting so emotional? Oh my god, I could fall asleep as I'm walking out there. I'm like, what is this? Uh -huh. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is the adrenaline dump they talk about. Like, yeah. What were you thinking? Uh, wait, hold on. I thought he was gonna- you can't hear it. I thought he was gonna say my name, so I do this to the crowd. <laughs> uh, yeah, wait, watch. <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> I rolled my foot! Oh, yeah, let's see it again, let's see it again. <laughs> so you missed the cue? <laughs> he draw it out! This is- nobody caught that. <laughs> I like okay, it. Got You're it like, so, so you gotta make up your mind on the I'm intro. I'm ready, right? you guys. <laughs> I see that one like the claws coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so grateful for her because she took this fight when her team actually said no previously, and then this was on four days' notice. Her her opponent pulled out, and they called me and were like, "You want to fight?" And my management thought her team was gonna say no again, but they they accepted it. So that like really helped me in my career because I hadn't been able to fight anywhere but Europe so far. Oh, dang. Yes. It was like so rushed. You have to get all this sh stuff for oh. MMA, like medicals, uh, like all these different things so beforehand. So I'm like sprinting around with 48 so hours. Dang. I feel like I didn't really have, I got, didn't have as much time on the cage to this point. We practiced a lot thereafter, so I feel comfortable. But I was like, shit. Yeah, a so, wall holding so was your was So your, was your, uh, was your anticipation like to like close the distance right away? Yeah. Or did yeah. you have that plan or was just like an instinct? I didn't know. I was an instinct. I didn't have that plan specifically. What do you think about knees from side control? I love it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I love it. I think I think that's where you win the round. Okay. Scoring but, points. But, but, the, but it's good that you're doing amateur yeah, now. Just, uh -huh. Because it's good that you're doing amateur now because you have oh, to. Oh, you could uh, second round is. Because this, this is this is where you make the mistakes. Yeah. This is where you get comfortable too. I wish I could do that, but dude, you, you didn't do it at all. No. No zero. No, but I did do amateur boxing. I could, and I know, dude, that it's uh, it's the same thing, dude. Yeah. Oh, you didn't. You just went straight pro. I went straight pro. Like I never did an amateur fight for MMA. No one was gonna fight me. Like you gotta pay somebody. Then then it becomes a legal game. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful head off again. That's twice. That's two time. I was like, let's do it a third time. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> you get stuck in his own. I mean, not you probably, but it just kind of got stuck in. Yeah, and, that, and now, it's just a, now it seems like from, from round one, now you're getting more comfortable. Yeah, though. I wish it, like I had more rounds though. Yeah. Oh, that one. <laughs> yeah, and then there's a shot. See, the timing of your shot, it's the same thing for the timing oh, for your shot as for this. It's just the mechanics of the change. Okay. You know? Did they need to add a 105-point class? Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, they know why. You know, we're gonna make we're gonna make a proposition yeah. here today. I'm making T-shirts. That's how you know it's serious. <laughs> 105. One of the 105 division. You got rid of the 140 division. We have somebody yeah, for that's you. Perfect. We got the perfect. vortex. We could do a tough show if you'd prefer, or we can just start it. It's your yeah. choice, who, who, Mr. Who, Nana, sir. <laughs> who, would, who would you have? Who would you have? Who would you like to do it with if you had your choice? Uh, you can pick competitors? Point. Yeah. There's a girl I lost to already that I want to fight again. Um, her name is Magdalena Schaben. She's Polish. Um, she's multiple time world champ at the amateur level. And I lost to her and I want to fight her again. I would have an okay, idea I what like I'm doing. That. Yeah. Revenge. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. All right, Thanks, girls. Guys. Well, guess what, girls? Talk okay. is like, well, cheap. The down right to <laughs> the wire. I've been waiting for this. Oh. Who wants to go first? You got two minutes on the clock. You can either step over like that, or you can just walk through. I think it's easier to step over there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You have two minutes to answer these questions and answer them correctly. Okay. 
Ready, Ready. time! If you weren't wrestling, what would you be doing right now? Fighting MMA. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where, weirdest DM you've ever received? Oh, can I lick those feet? <laughs> what was your most No is the answer, by the way. <laughs> what was your most satisfying win? Most satisfying win. Mm, this, this past fight, just because I know I made progress and because uh, it's like there's other ones getting opportunity at all. Okay, which match do you want to run back? Ah, the one my MMA lost. Okay. Who was your favorite wrestler growing up? Clarissa Chen. No way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the worst day you've been you've been on. Um ooh. Did he take you did he take you to Sizzlers? Uh, <laughs> I can't think! Um uh, worst date I've been on. Uh, okay. <laughs> most weight you have cut in a short amount of time. Ten pounds in a day. Okay, what's your what's your hype song? Hype song? Ooh, I love that bitch, that's my fucking problem. Dang, okay. <laughs> and your favorite post-match meal? Mmm, frozen yogurt. Time! Yes! <laughs> cool, okay. That was 105. I should probably do that. I need someone to ask me questions so I can stay in a cold punch. <laughs> that, that was manageable. All right, here we go. Okay, okay, Helen, you got two minutes on the clock. Ready? Go! If you weren't wrestling, what would you be doing right now? Dancing. Okay. <laughs> Not well, but dancing. Where does DM you've ever received? Oh, and be honest. I feel like they're, uh, I try not to read them. <laughs> I'm so blocking out of my memory. Okay, what is your most satisfying win? Uh, Olympics. Okay, Olympic uh, what match do you want to run back? Any, any one that I've lost. <laughs> okay, specific. Uh, 2023 World Semifinals. 2022 <laughs> World Semifinals. Okay, okay. Okay, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Oh, man. And like, have whatever benefits? Just everything, you just gotta answer it. Where would it be? I like Greece. Okay, Greece. Oh. Who was your favorite wrestler growing up? Oh, man. I really loved the 24 Olympic team. I looked up to them. Okay. Most weight you've cut in a short amount of time? Oh, like 25 pounds? No way. Don't worry about it. Okay. Worry. What's, your, what's your hype song? My hype song? It's like Christian music. It's not the fake music. Okay, like. cool. Uh, favorite post-match meal? Um, chocolate. Okay, and we have... Time. Oh, I better feel the cover. <laughs> All right. You will. That was two I'm minutes? Gonna, I'm gonna go cold. <laughs> okay. 35 ain't nothing. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that <laughs> sucked! That time. Yeah. First question. Do you believe in aliens? No. Or maybe I do. Oh. You know, there's some fucked up people here. <laughs> <laughs> Worst thing you've said in an interview. Worst thing, I ate a bad taco. Crazy, I don't know why I did it in front of 25,000 people. Oh. I was feeling sick and I was in Mexico and I decided to say, hey, I had a bad taco, guys, sorry for my performance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, who was your first kiss? Who was my first kiss? That's a good, uh, it was in eighth grade. Oh, I got to see. All right. <laughs> we don't even know no more. Oh, man. Um, what's your favorite move to hit? My favorite move to hit. And Rafi was a low single. Up top, it was an inside trip. Who's a fighter <laughs> that's not your weight, but if, if they could be at your weight, you believe you could beat them? Like pound for pound, anybody? Yeah. Uh, probably Volkanovski. I would, I would love my shot at him. I think he's really good. I think he's really, because he's really good, I would love to. Maybe catch him at the same weight and, and beat him. What type of food do you hate? It's that uh, Yorkshire pudding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you guys had that? Negative for the British yeah, I have. I like it though. But you're Dude, that said, stuff. Mine was. <laughs> <laughs> the one I had was small. Uh, uh, favorite post meal? Favorite post meal, but I'm gonna have to say pizza. Pizza and steak. Okay. And I feel like you do need to get a lot of fat. So for that reason, all right, guys, you guys just watched an episode of Scout Flicks and Chill with Victoria Anthony and Helen Maroulis. And again, guys, what do you guys think and what are your closing thoughts?
That was fun. My favorite interview ever. Yeah. <laughs> so much fun. A lot of variety. Thanks so much, Henry. Yeah, thanks okay. for having me. Awesome, guys. Until next time, so you guys make sure to comment, subscribe to my damn YouTube channel, and let me know who is it that you guys want on the next episode of Scout Flicks and Chill. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>